Hey, Devontae, what do you have to say about the charges against you? You got nothing to say, guys. Come with me. I'm fine. Did you punch that woman in the face? You got nothing to say. Right now, 430, a boxing star bonding out of jail in Broward County and refusing to answer our questions. What's up, boxing fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you thought the Gervonta Davis drama couldn't get any crazier, guess what? It just took a turn that's leaving everyone in shock. Today, we're diving deep into the latest headline that's got the entire boxing community buzzing. Gervonta Tank Davis has been sentenced to jail after the feds raided his home. That's right, things are heating up and you won't want to miss a second of this story. Defendant and the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage? All right, let's get into it. So, for those who've been living under a rock, here's a quick recap of what led to this jaw-dropping moment. A couple of weeks ago, federal agents stormed into Gervonta Davis' house with a search warrant. This wasn't some casual visit, folks. Folks, they came in guns blazing and left with a treasure trove of incriminating evidence. We're talking about illegal drugs and unregistered firearms found right there in his home. It was wild. Bye. Now, this isn't just a regular old legal issue, it's a full-blown scandal that's caught everyone's attention. Gervonta, known for his explosive knockout power in the ring, suddenly found himself at the center of a serious legal mess. But wait, it gets even crazier. Fast forward to today, and we have the shocking news that Gervonta Davis has officially been sentenced to jail time. That's right, this isn't just a slap on the wrist. Reports are coming in that he's facing serious time behind bars due to the findings during that raid. You've got to wonder, how did it come to this? The boxing world is buzzing with opinions, and we're here to break it all down for you. What the hell, bro? Uh, you know, they you. All right, so. What, what? What's your side of this? She's trying to take my car. This is my truck. She... Now, before we dive deeper into the implications of this sentence, let's talk about Gervonta's reaction. After the sentencing, Tank broke his silence in an exclusive interview. And let me tell you, he didn't hold back. He called the raid a setup, suggesting that someone close to him might have been feeding information to the feds. I've been watching my back for a while now, Davis said. This ain't no surprise to me. The people around me, some of them ain't loyal. Whoa, did Tank just throw shade at his own circle? It looks like Gervonta feels betrayed by those he thought he could trust. With accusations flying around, who can we really believe in this tangled web of drama? Now, let's get into the fallout from all this madness. The implications of this raid and subsequent sentencing are huge. Not just for Tank, but for the entire boxing community. Gervonta Davis has been a rising star, known for his explosive fighting style and electrifying performances in the ring. But with this legal baggage hanging over his head, what does the future hold? Experts are saying that this could seriously impact his career. Sponsors are pulling out, and fans are left wondering if they can support a fighter who's facing such serious charges. Now, let's switch gears a bit and talk about the elephant in the room. Floyd Mayweather. We all know their relationship has been complicated, to say the least. At one point, Floyd was Tank's mentor, guiding him through the wild world of boxing. But then the drama unfolded, and let's just say their friendship took a hit. During the same interview, Davis dropped a serious bombshell that's gonna have fans talking. He hinted that Floyd might have played a role in this whole setup. A lot of people don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but trust me, Floyd's got his hands in a lot of things. He knows more than he lets on. Did he just throw some shade at the legend himself? It's like he's saying, hey, Floyd might be the puppet master in all of this. 
You can bet Floyd won't take this lying down either. You know he's got a comeback ready. And guess what? Floyd Mayweather didn't wait long to clap back. Right after Tank's comments went viral, he jumped on social media and fired off a statement. Classic Floyd, he said, I've always looked out for Tank, but I'm not responsible for his actions. But this is where it gets interesting. Gervonta Davis broke the silence on having illegal firearms, and guess who it's related to? Yep, you got it. Floyd Money Mayweather. Tank said the guns were just for safety. Now you're probably wondering safety for what? Well, Tank broke it down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta. Davis was not too happy about it. You know, he the one, you know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean, 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drive by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, you're not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So. It, it, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in a bad situation. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the raid that mentioned Floyd. Now you can't miss out on what he said because this changes everything. I wanted to get to Floyd before he could get to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on whenever. But I do need some safety precautions. You can't be bringing your fists to a gunfight. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis. How did this begin? Let's break it down. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name. They could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Earl Spence? Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Tank Davis is now arrested. Now, Floyd being Floyd, tried to take control of the narrative, claiming he's always been there for Tank, helping him every step of the way. He went on to say that it's always been Tank taking shots at him and disrespecting him. Floyd painted himself as the victim, insisting that he's only ever had Tank's best interests at heart. Now, we all, that's nothing but a cap. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did.
This whole situation isn't just about a raid anymore. It's about loyalty, betrayal, and who's really got your back in this crazy world of boxing. With Gervonta facing jail time, fans are left wondering how this will affect his career. Will he bounce back stronger? Or is this the beginning of the end for Tang? Because you know how it goes in boxing. One minute you're on top, the next you're facing serious legal issues. And we can't ignore the fact that Floyd has been spotted training with Tank's biggest rival, Shakur Stevenson. That's right, the drama just escalated to a whole new level. You know those two are cooking up something against Tank. With Floyd and Shakur working together, it's like a plot twist nobody saw coming. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.